Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Mr. Your Willy, and I'm playing Symphony. I'm also on webcam. Woo. Creepy people looking at me. Um, so, anyways, Symphony is a music based shooter game. It's actually kind of interesting. It's brand new, just came out this month on the 6th. So, what day is it at the day of the recording? The 9th. So, it's been out for three days now, so not very old. Um, but it's something that's really cool. Now, some of the interesting thing about it is not only is it a music-based shooter game, like, there's a few of them out there where you play and there's music in the background, you kind of shoot things that appear and it kind of matches the music a bit. This one actually allows you to import your own songs, and it's a completely new experience because it's your, new, your own songs. It's not pre-programmed or anything, it actually analyzes the music and creates the gameplay while you're doing it. So let's go ahead and um you see, ooh, it must happen by chance. It requires an intelligent soul. He has some creepy eyes, Music man. Is a link to consciousness you can understand. It is what I need to enter your universe. He does it linking. So anyways, um music is under attack by unknown. I gotta defeat the five demons within. Uh comes packed with music, so I get to choose. I have a folder right here for my symphony game, so I add music to this, and it will add music to the game. I only have one song right now. I don't, ex uh, don't expect me to play anything that's mainstream or anything. I only play indie games or games that are royalty free, or songs that are royalty free, and music that are indie based music, because I don't want YouTube saying, hey, you're playing Skrillex here, man. That YouTube video is now owned by us. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Not only that, it puts a bad record on my YouTube account. I've had this thing for two years. Not gonna happen. So, um, my iTunes library, yeah, that will never be on here because there's tons of music on there and I won't be able to play any of them. So I'll add indie music or royalty-free music here. If you guys have an indie artist that you really like, aka somebody who's not mainstream or a royalty-free song that you've heard, uh, let me know in a comment below or message or whatever. And if I listen to and I agree that that's a suitable song, I'll add it to the list and play it. Um, I have a good selection and I always look for more uh, because I use it for my Minecraft videos. A lot of them you've heard there. So uh, those are all indie music that I play there because um, they're not so mainstream that YouTube will pick up on it and say, hey, you're not allowed to use that. And the indie artist usually doesn't mind so much. As long as I'm not making money off of it, in case you know, I'm making like a CD and selling it. So, so you're selling me my list is low. Now, songs have these cool little unlocks in them. This is the bang weapon or whatever. This is uh, level you get, the radius, that kind of stuff. Um, to unlock it, you need to get these many inspiration and kudo points to upgrade your uh, tools. You can also filter your songs. Now, I'm just gonna, you know, here's some filterings like by artist name or so on and so forth. Uh, filter by album you know so i'm not going to filter it these are all the songs that it comes with is all from here down uh this one muzz buzz is actually the song that i added in that i'm going to play for you guys so i hope you guys enjoy that um hey i actually have a pretty good selection of songs already so uh i might even play some of these too but muzz buzz is from Azrael. And I don't think you guys heard it. You can actually preview the song here if you wish to. This shows that it's one that's pre-programmed in. Um, it's an unplayed song, so I don't know what it will unlock. So let's go ahead and play this. Now, it's still going to run through the tutorial because I clicked New Game so that you guys can see the tutorial. Uh, when I click Continue, it won't do that anymore. Uh, these are the inspiration points that I need to collect. Um, they have inspiration. They also help me reach my target score. They also repair my ship, too, when it gets damaged. Um, I have an infinite amount of lives, but whenever I die, I lose inspiration, which is a, a good thing because I need inspiration to unlock the bonuses. Here's how the health is. Obviously, nice and clean and blue means my music is healthy. When it gets under attack, it'll slowly go red and I need to clean it up again. Um, I'll say relatively quiet um, throughout the song. Uh, I'll input things like oh my gosh what's what so many things but other than that I don't mind you guys listening to music and all that stuff um, by the way this is a wave bonus uh, you'll get these little note things uh, 
collect them before the chain indicator disappears. Uh, gives me points. This is what my next target is, so on and so forth. So. Actually, one second. Let me just quickly double check the audio level. Yeah, I told it to be 30 last time. I don't think it's saved because I clicked new game, so reset it. But this will allow you to not hear the gun so much. Ah, little one's trying to sneak from the side. How rude. This is why I picked this song. It has high points and low points. I thought it- Ooh, ow, I hit myself. Uh, it has high points and low points. I thought it would be an amusing one. So, um, the inspiration, like I just said earlier, heals my ship. When I get damaged, I don't, like, blow up unless I get, like, seriously smacked. Um, but what I do is just parts of my ship. So my guns will start becoming weaker. Uh, when I pick those up, it repairs it. So, see, now my left gun is broken, so I fixed it. Oh no, they're attacking! Oh my god, that's, those guys are fast. AI. No, 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 no. This is not gonna go well. Pick up. Giant bird! I have completed the song and discovered the new item! If you like the item, you can spend inspiration and kudos to unlock it. Some items can be equipped to your ship, others can be picked up that appear in the playfield. So that one... Let's see, I discovered a new item, the subwoofer. It cost me 70,000 inspiration. Oh, I got an achievement addition. Or audition, that's funny. So, whoa, I collected a lot of inspiration. So, Symphony provides pro-song leaderboards and medals when 
online, you can click login to create an account. Which, yeah, I don't really care about the the ladder leaderboards or anything like that because the songs I play, I'm probably the only one that plays it. Wow, 99.7% of the guys uh, got killed and I never died, so I got untouchable. Um, Pen is, <laughs> that's funny. Um, got some kudos. Interesting. So uh, you've unlocked your first item. It costs inspiration to unlock the item. For this tutorial, we're making sure you have enough inspiration. Why, well, thank you all, you guys are so nice. So I'm gonna unlock the subwoofer. Do -do -do -do. So I've unlocked the subwoofer. Uh, you'll be able to equip this item on the ship editor screen. Uh, this is about as far as I got on the tutorial. I never played the song before, so I don't know what any of this is. Um, you can equip any combination of items when you play any song. Uh, some items are rare, and because of that, they're more powerful. Uh, you'll also be able to spend kudos and inspiration to upgrade the items further. So I got the subwoofer. <laughs> Okay, right. um, uh, upgrade. You don't have enough kudos. Oh, so I can upgrade the subwoofer too. That's cool. What's this? Uh, where's the ship options? What's this? Hmm. This needs to be unlocked. Well, where's the ship building? Oh, it's own all items. How do I uh, play with this or customize my ship? Ah, you can equip your ship with any items you have created. Some items can be rotated by clicking the rotate icon. The blue arc indicates how far each item can be rotated. You can specify which mouse button controls each item by clicking the mouse button icon. Some items can be set to auto fire. So I got blasters pretty much right now, which are all four of these are my blasters. Now if I wanted to, they're all at the left click button. I can switch them to right click. So, you know, I can fire left and right. Now the rotate, as you can see, I can uh, shift them to be at angles here. Or have them go straight ahead. I can also change it to my subwoofer. Subwoofer seems to be like a super powerful hit one. Um, but it seems to be kind of slow. So what I'll do... Have it go straight ahead. Oh, interesting. So the subwoofer uh, is one that will auto-fire. And so it's always on. Interesting. Where's this one? This one. I want to change to a subwoofer. Oh, I can only uh, equip one subwoofer at a time. So that's what that is. I will quickly play a little bit with the new subwoofer just to see it. Um, it's a, just going to be the same song, but we're not going to go very far. Ah, it shows my firepower right there. It's kind of interesting. Alright. No, oh, I got hit. Not sure what. Bye. Oh, I see what it was. Oh, this hurts. So that's how that goes. So whenever the subwoofer goes off in the song, it shoots one of those notes. That seems to be the case. It's kind of cool. Um, quit back to main menu. Yes. So anyways, um, that is that song. And um, 
this is Symphony, so I hope you guys enjoyed our Slayer's Edit ship without having to join a game. Uh, I, I knew there was going to be an option down here. And... Yeah, so I'll see you all later. This is Mr. Willie signing off. Like, comment, and subscribe to join the epicness. Adios.